shape-shifting robot built from Smarticles shows new locomotion strategy. Researchers have taken a new approach, building a robot entirely from smaller robots. The 3D printed Smarticles, short for Smart Active Particles, can do just one thing, flap their two arms. But when five of these Smarticles are confined in a circle, they form a system that can move by itself. Adding a light or sound sensor allows the robot to move and even be controlled well enough to navigate a maze. Research team unveils TunaBot, first robotic fish to keep pace with a tuna. The aim of the project is to better understand the physics of fish propulsion, research that could eventually inform development of the next generation of underwater vehicles, driven by fish-like systems better than propellers. It's possible for robots to have feelings, Sophia tells Jakarta audiences. Humans have already started to love robots, some people have even tried to marry their smartphone, Sophia added. Oxen, the robots of the late Neolithic, jump-started economic inequality. The effect was the same as today, growing economic disparities between those who owned the robots and those whose work the robots displaced, revealed a research at the Santa Fe Institute. Why robots can never be Catholic priests. In an interview with Vox, Franciscan sister Ilya de Leo, who holds the endowed chair of theology at Villanova University, said that Catholicism should reimagine the priesthood and consider robots instead of, or alongside, men. Niska, Australia's first ever robotic retail store, offers artisan ice cream with a variety of flavors, all served by a team of robot staffers, Pepper, Aka, and Tony. Welcome to Niska Ice Cream Bar. Subscribe for the latest robot headlines.